students today we are going to learn most important problems on quadratic equation for JEE main and advanced let s be the set of all non zero real numbers alpha alpha is non zero real numbers such that the e quadratic equation alpha x square minus x plus alpha is equal to 0. Quadratic equation given quadratic equation is alpha x square minus x plus alpha is equal to 0. Has two distinct real roots. This equation has two distinct real roots x1 namely x1 and x2. It is given satisfying the inequality these roots x1 and x2 satisfying the inequality mod x1 minus x2 less than 1 mod value of x1 minus x2 is less than 1 now the question is which of the following interval or intervals is or are a subset of s there is one or more correct answer so option a minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by root 5 option b minus 1 by root 5 comma 0 option c 0 comma 1 by root 5 and option d is 1 by root 5 comma 1 by 2 answer it is given that x1 and x2 are two roots distinct two distinct real roots alpha x square minus x plus alpha x is equal to 0 so alpha x square minus x plus alpha is equal to 0 this is the given quadratic equation and x1 and x2 are two real roots so x1 plus x2 sum of roots is equal to minus b by a that is 1 by alpha and x1 and x2 x1 and x2 that is product of roots c by a is equal to alpha by alpha is equal to 1 product of roots is alpha by alpha is equal to 1 also mod x1 minus x2 less than 1 implies that mod x1 minus x2 whole square less than 1 whole square of 1 is 1 implies that x1 minus x2 whole square we can write this as x1 minus x2 whole square less than 1 therefore it is in the form a minus b whole square so we can write it as x1 plus x2 whole square a plus b whole square minus 4ab x1 into x2 less than 1 a minus b whole square so a plus b whole square minus 4ab we can write it implies that x1 plus x2 is 1 by alpha so 1 by alpha whole square that is 1 by alpha square minus 
x1 into x2 is 1 so here minus 4 less than 1 implies that 1 by alpha square minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0 that is minus 4 plus 4 is 0 here so minus plus 1 plus 4 is 5 1 by alpha square less than 5 implies that 1 less than 5 alpha square implies that 5 alpha square minus 1 is greater than 0 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so minus so 5 alpha square minus 1 is greater than 0 implies that we can write 5 alpha square as root 5 alpha whole square minus 1 whole square is greater than 0 a square minus b square root 5 alpha minus 1 into root 5 alpha plus 1 a minus b into a plus b form is greater than 0 so here root 5 minus root 5 alpha minus 1 into root 5 alpha plus 1 is greater than 0 the value of alpha here 1 by root 5 and up to infinity and here value of alpha 1 by minus root 5 or minus 1 by root 5 up to minus infinity so the domain is alpha belongs to minus infinity comma minus 1 by root 5 union 1 by root 5 to plus infinity alpha belong to minus infinity comma minus 1 by root 5 union 1 by root 5 comma plus infinity this is one equation also here 1 by alpha square less than 5 and 1 by alpha square minus 4 less than 1 this was 1 by alpha square minus 4 less than 1 so one by alpha square minus four is greater than zero also we found it so one by alpha square minus four 
is greater than 0. One by alpha square minus four is greater than zero implies that one by alpha square is greater than four implies that one is greater than four alpha square. So we can write it as 1 minus 4 alpha square is greater than 0. Implies that 1 minus 2 alpha into 1 plus 2 alpha is greater than 0. A square minus b square, so a minus b into a plus b. We find, found it that 1 by alpha square minus 4 is greater than 0 as 1 minus 2 alpha into 1 plus 2 alpha is greater than 0. Therefore, alpha, alpha belongs to minus 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 here 1 plus 2 alpha is greater than 0 so alpha is equal to minus 1 by 2 and here 1 minus 2 alpha is greater than 0 so alpha is equal to 1 by 2 so alpha belongs to minus 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 it is equation number 2. Now we conclude that from equation 1 and 2 alpha belongs to minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by root 5 union 1 by root 5 these are negative values and 1 by root 5 comma 1 by 2 so we found minus 1 by 2 my comma minus 1 by root 5 here the option a is minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by root 5 and also 1 by root 5 comma 1 by 2 the option d is 1 by root 5 comma 1 by 2 so these two options option a and option d option a and option d both are correct. Option A and option D both are correct. These two intervals minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by root 5 and 1 by root 5 comma 1 by 2 are a subset of S. Do this problem as I shown in this video and practice it more and more. For more updates, subscribe my channel and also like and share.